righteous protection. Now listen, this ain't no make believe. Come on, open your eyes and see. What's going on, fam? Surprise upload. <laughs> Y'all saw that boy John Morrison yesterday. Last night on SmackDown. So <clears throat> being that I like Morrison a lot. Had to go ahead and give you this from out of nowhere. It's a 19 conversion that I tweaked it a pretty good bit. Make it a little more relevant. Especially depending on, you know, when we see him and what I know for the most part, his first match, you know, his regular moves, all of that be the same. Just want to see what he's using for a finisher. Kind of disappointed that in 20 we didn't get his, that little cannonball elbow joint that he does for the finisher. I was looking for that to be able to use it, but just stick with what we got for now. Cannonball Centon for the standard version and Hall of Hangover <laughs> uh, for the opponent on the ground version. Man, listen, I honestly don't think John Morrison gets enough credit. I don't do this. It has been innovative, very innovative from day one. You know, even in WWE, after Tough Enough, of course, Johnny Nitro and the end, Eminem stuff. Then you move on into John Morrison, Morrison and the Miz, and all of that, man. It, dude has star written on him and has had star written on him for a long time good look dude athletic as can be can actually wrestle you know they used to give him a lot of flack oh he don't have a passion he's just an acrobat he chose wrestling as a job you know what i mean you you knocking his performance on his job of course not you know you don't have to have passion for your job do you not everybody does you know, I don't really have a passion for operating heavy equipment and heavy machinery in my job, but that doesn't stop me from, you know, being the best I can be and doing the best job I can be. So, yeah, I put some respect on his name, for real. <laughs> you know what it is. Keep it real. Live righteous.